Remember not so long ago, we rushed to a medical practitioner, even for a minor ailment. But in the current pandemic scenario, it has become very challenging even to decide if we can go to a hospital or not. So it is extremely important to keep our vitals in check. Welcome to our channel, Mango Do It. I am Simran. And I am Sanjay. Let's understand what these five vitals are and how we can easily monitor them at home. Let's have a look. Temperature is the first vital that we must keep in check. It is measured by a thermometer. The ideal temperature of a human body is 98.6 degrees Fahrenheit. But a temperature of 97.7 degrees Fahrenheit and 99.5 degrees Fahrenheit is considered normal. We can measure temperature from different parts of our body. The ideal temperature is when we take it orally by placing the thermometer under our tongue. We can also take it from under our armpit or from our forehead but this temperature is a degree lower than the actual. In pediatrics, temperature can be taken rectal temperature or tympanic temperature when we place the thermometer in the inner ear. But this temperature is one degree higher than the actual. Vital number two is the pulse. The pulse is the number of times a heart beats in a minute. A normal pulse is 72 beats per minute. However, 60 to 100 is also considered normal. The most accurate way of taking your pulse is by taking these three fingers, placing them in this groove under your thumb where the radial artery is. Feel your pulse, count the number of beats in 30 seconds and then multiply it by 2 which will give you the pulse reading. Vital 3 is respiration. As we breathe in, our chest rises. As we exhale, our chest relaxes. This action is known as one respiration. Number of respirations in one minute is anywhere between 12 to 20. So do this action of counting the number of rise and fall of your chest for 30 seconds and then multiply it by 2 to give you the number of respirations per minute. The fourth vital is blood pressure. Blood pressure is the force of the blood pushing against the walls of our arteries. Your blood pressure is highest when your heart contracts and pushes out blood. This is called the systolic pressure. When our heart relaxes, the blood pressure falls. This is called diastolic pressure. Normal blood pressure of a human being is 120 by 80. If our blood pressure continuously remains above 140 and 90, we might be hypertensive. And if our blood pressure falls to 90 and 60 and continuously stays like that, then we might be hypotensive. In both the situations, it's important to go and seek medical advice. The fifth vital is SpO2, that is the oxygen saturation in our blood. Oxygen is carried to various parts of our body by the hemoglobin in the RBCs present in our blood and is needed by every tissue, every organ to perform the daily functions. SpO2 is measured with a pulse oximeter. The normal range of oxygen in our blood is between 95 to 100. Lack of oxygen causes hypoxemia which can cause damage to our tissues and organs. So if your oxygen levels fall below 90, please seek medical advice. To know more about the pulse oximeter, please see the link in the description. We have a separate video explaining all about 
how to use a pulse oximeter. So you see how easy it is to monitor your vitals at home. I hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching. Do comment, share our video and subscribe to our channel. Take care. Bye-bye.